Hi, my name is Siope. I'm a father, a mental health therapist, and a member of the Smarter Parenting team. Today we're going to review an app called Ask FM. Now, Ask FM is a social networking app set up in a question and answer format that is very popular with tweens and teens. It was reported in 2015 that the app has 150 million unique monthly visitors. It should be noted here that Ask FM was acquired by Ask.com in 2014, but it's important to understand the history of this app. Originally, Ask FM was founded in Latvia. It was an international app with many international users. It's received a lot of press attention and was referenced in the Florida bullying suicide case in 2013, where a 12 year old child committed suicide. Now, a 12 year old and a 14 year old were charged with bullying her on this app. This isn't the only case of online bullying with this app. It was also referenced in a case in Great Britain where the Prime Minister, David Cameron, called for a boycott of the website and the app. The new management of the app, Ask.com, has taken precautionary measures to address the earlier concerns of this app by providing help within the app. So currently, there are a lot of great features for parents and children and teachers within this app. Let's go ahead and take a look. It wants you to share your profile or find friends, and you can do this with Facebook and Twitter. I created this account, and uh, I don't have any friends or anyone to share with at this point, but the, the gist of it is that you can ask questions and people will respond to them. So what is a, the weirdest scar you've had and how did you get it? That's a question, and anyone can respond to that. So I could type in whatever I wanted and answer that. Now, uh, in order to find people, you can look this up and you can say, ask me a question. So here's some that I answered myself. Uh, somebody asked to post a picture of my dog, so I did. Uh, and this is where the bullying can start. People asking people to do certain things or why they exist or why they are alive. Okay, so here, this is where you're gonna find a lot of safety features. If you look in the safety center, the application has a lot of content for teenagers, parents, and teachers, specifically focused on keeping the environment and the app safe. There's a video specifically for teens, and they want it stated here that this is a bully-free zone. Uh, they also provide a connection to the suicide prevention lifeline here within the app and additional resources. So you tap on what's available for parents. It also gives you safety guidelines for parents on how they can monitor their children using this app. And they've included trusted partners below. Now, what parents should know, users can ask questions anonymously on the app. The anonymous part is what allows a cyber bullying to occur. Sharing content is easy on this app and it's friendly with Facebook and Twitter. It's one click away from sharing in an environment where things are anonymous to a social media platform that's not. It's probably the best formatted social media platform to have help available. Still, these are only useful if the user decides to use them. Parents should always be the first line of support for their children. I give this app application a rating of three, largely because there's a lot of support and help to avoid a bullying and cyberbullying situation. It also provides help for parents. If you notice this app on your child's device and have concerns, talk to your child using the skill of effective communication on the Smarter Parenting website. Now discuss appropriate social media use and be aware of what your child is doing online. For more tips, skills, ideas, and help, visit the Smarter Parenting website. For more detailed information about this app, visit the blog section of our website. Now don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on social media. Next week, we review another app. Until then, be safe in cyberspace.